Hello everybody and welcome back to the Riot Alien. Today we are going to be playing Stardew Valley. So, for the series, I, was, I wanted a game that wasn't Minecraft and also I could upload like whenever. Because, as you uh, probably know if you saw my post about the last video, the, the, specifically I'm talking about the zoo, not the other one that was from like months ago and then I just, you know, publicized it yesterday. Yeah, so... Sometimes they can take, you know, a week, maybe two, to finally finish, so this is something that I'll have to, like, fill in the gap, so there's still up uploads. I will still be here. It just, you know, won't be as common. And if we just get a little pretty surprise, and I just discovered this one. Perfect for our channel, am I right? It's an alien. Oh, hello. <laughs> Alright, how many other things can I play around with? So I can just like leave. Hmm. Yeah, I might want to turn that on. <laughs> yeah, I've already got a few loads if we wanted to look at those, but... Nah. I think we should make a new one. <laughs> what should my fictional name be today? sounds nice. And it will be named the... Mm. It will be the... Uh, okay, it's actually getting a little annoying, sorry. <laughs> Not that the music isn't nice, I'm just like trying to say things and I feel like I'm being drowned out. Farm name, farm name, farm name. Um. Gonna be in the river, so how about Danube? And favorite thing? Oh, is there an E on Danube? I'm sorry, I'm taking a long time to set this up. There is an E on Danube. Favorite thing? Uh. Why does... Oh my god. Did Grandpa know about the Junimos? I've, I've never actually noticed that before. I've never noticed the tree there. I'm sorry. I'm not paying attention. I want you to have this sealed envelope. 
sudden high resolution. No, no, don't do it yet. Have patience. Also, your bed's like really bad. <laughs> Look at that thing. Now, listen close. There will come a day when you feel crushed by the burden of modern life. And your bright spirit will fade before a growing emptiness. Oof, land on hard, Grandpa. When that happens, my dear, you'll be ready for this gift. Oh, he's getting me with the hand sign. <laughs> now let Grandpa rest. Is that 20? Or is that X number of years later, depending... Um, whatever. I bet that light's broken. <laughs> hey, how? <laughs> Someone's just casually dead over here. Now oh, and it look like I'm about to go too. <laughs> well, so that's a that's actually a massive skeleton. Hold on a second. <laughs> See, I never realized that thing's like way different proportions from the in-game characters. Dear Cassie, if you're reading this, you must be in dire need of a change. The same thing happened to me long ago. I'd lost sight of what mattered most in life, real connections to other people and nature. So I dropped everything and moved to the place I truly belong. I've enclosed the deed to that place, my pride and joy, Danube Farm. It's located in the Stardew Valley on the southern coast. It's the perfect place to start your new life. This is my most precious gift of all, and now it's yours. I know you'll honor the family name, my dear. Good luck. Love, Grandpa. P.S. If Lewis is still alive, you say hi to the old guy for me, will ya? If he's still alive, you know. Hey, you know, the people he knew back then, they're... Seemingly all still alive. And in that case... What happened to Grandpa? You know what, I'm gonna stop asking these questions. Also, isn't it odd that this nation has, like, way better public transportation than anywhere in real life. Like, you can take a bus to an entirely separate- like, across the country. Unless this is a small country, like, what if this is just Monaco? <laughs> yeah, yeah, I know about you. Farm's right over there, if you follow me. Don't ask me why Robin's western, they just are now. This is Danube Farm. Yeah, hole in deck, bunch of plants everywhere. Yeah, plenty of stuff that died and got turned into soil. And here we are, your new home. Ah, the new farmer. Welcome, I'm Lewis Mara Pelican Town. You know, everyone's been asking about you. It's not every day that someone new moves in, it's quite a big deal. So, you're moving into your grandfather's old cottage. It's a, great, it's a good house, very rustic. <laughs> rustic. <laughs> Robin, shut your mouth. Perhaps you might be a little more apt, though. Rude. Don't listen to her, Cassie. She's trying to make you dissatisfied so that you buy one of her house upgrades. Hmm. 
Anyway, you must retire from the long journey. You should get some rest. Tomorrow you ought to explore the town a bit and introduce yourself. Townspeople would appreciate that. Sorry, I want to skip to the gameplay. Oh, and I almost forgot. If you have anything to sell, just place it in the box. Yada yada yada. I know. Who set up this inventory? Ew, yep. who puts the axe Don't first? worry, I'll throw plenty of stuff in the box for you. It goes. Pickaxe, hoe, watering can, scythe if you have it. Well, actually. This is proper order. And then you put your weapon there, except I don't have a weapon, so. Oh, I missed my golden scythe. <laughs> Also, fun fact about my builds, a lot of the more rustic ones are actually inspired by this game and The Sims 4, Henford on Blake Bagley. Like, just the old, cozy feeling. Just clear the path, yeah, dip it down. This will be our natural, or not natural space, this will be our artificial space, and we'll keep as much of the rest of the farm wild as possible. You know? After all, sustainable farming, it exists! And I'll have to use the greenhouse more because you don't have to plant stuff all the time, you can just kind of leave some ancient fruit in there and they'll go forever. Cultivate and harvest a parsnip. Now go meet uh, all those other people. Perhaps we practice for life, real life. We all know I need it. Ha ha ha. Self-deprecating joke's funny. Oh, this is gonna be a pain. I'm at my water bucket. Oh. I just tried to charge it up. Oh, this is gonna be painful. Because the only thing I hate in this game is watering crops, and I can't explain it. I just really don't like doing it. There's a water bowl up here full. Probably don't need it full yet, but oh, I also dropped my backpack. Or chest. Ugh. Minecraft when you start a new world. It's like, ugh, all my upgrades, where are my netherite tools? Oh, right. Anyway, I'm just trying to get enough wood for a chest right now. I do not want to carry my water bucket all around. Also, I have some mods installed. Specifically, the one where you can see where everybody is. And I think I also have one for the child skins. And, um... That might be it? Like, don't, uh, don't be certain or anything, but I think that's it. Yeah, it's more of our shade of purple this time around. You really don't need the scythe most of the time. Time to run to town and quickly introduce myself to everybody I can find. Wait, I don't have the minecarts anymore. Alright, who can we get to first? Alright, everybody's up at their house, so I'm assuming Sebastian's in their room, so they're gonna be hard. Um, uh, Caroline! Alright, so Caroline, Pierre, Abigail, and Harold, or whatever your name is, probably gonna be the easiest ones. Who are you? No. Oh, just let me quickly go backstage, despite having no medical applications or anything. Or not applications, uh, degrees. Yep, I can touch all the medical equipment and you can't do anything about it, ha ha ha. It's a pleasure to meet you, I'm Harvey, the local doctor. What did I call you? I think it was like... I don't remember what I called you before. 
Much less your name originally. I perform regular checkups and medical procedures for all the residents of Pelican Town. It's rewarding work. Oh wait, there's somebody out there already. Hi, I'm Sam. Good to meet you. That's it. Alright. Right in here. Marnie! Yep, you're the person who overprices everything. And doesn't work on Tuesdays, which is annoying. Or is it Thursdays? I think it's Tuesdays and Thursdays, actually. Oh, that's right. I heard someone new is moving on to that old farm. Kind of a shame, really. I always enjoyed exploring those overground fields myself. Move to Finland. You can enter anybody's property at any time without any kind of restriction. Actually, was that Finland or was... I don't know, I think it's like a few European countries. Hey, it's Miss Cassidy, new farmer. I'm Pierre, owner of the local general store. You also overprice things. If you're looking for seeds, my shop is the place to go. I'll also buy produce from you at for a good price. Ha ha ha. No, I'm gonna dump it all in the bin, idiot. Hello, green hair. Yep, I'm Cassie. You're Caroline. Good to meet you. I'm only here for a quest. Ah, Leah, the pretty one. I mean, what? <laughs> Hello, it's nice to meet you. Alright. And... who else? Yep, saloon's already open. I can hit Gus. Alright, yep, nice to be acquainted, bye. Oh, this Penny. Yep, now, uh, where's your mom? Not in the trailer. Not, uh... Ah, they're at Joji Mart with Sam and Shane. Oh, hello. Open, pop the worms. First copper ore, yay. Ew, corporate slob. Yeah, I've never understood why this isn't a character we can meet. Also, why wouldn't they work in Stardew Valley if they work here? Or why wouldn't they live in Stardew Valley? Alright, yeah. Ah, and then there's Shane and Sam. Oh, I already met Sam. Does that count as meeting them? Yep, that counts as meeting them. Alright, how far are we getting with the quest? Alright, we got half of them. Haley's down by the river. Jass is... Ah, doing Jass things, I don't know. Elias there, Lewis and Willie are there, Evelyn's in the garden, Emily is at her house, alright. Let's go down the below way, get into that forest area to meet Haley and uh, Yaz. Oh, Jody, yes, I need to meet you, Evelyn, you too. I've done this more times than you can count. Actually, no, you can actually count my save files. It's only four times, but... Hello, small child. Hello, you will be shoot. Alright, and now up to Yaz. Yaz. Hi. Who do we still need? Maru, Emily... Uh, Elliot? George, Clint, Demetrius, and... And, uh, Sebastian, Resmodius, Billy, and... Linus, yes. 
Alright, Rasmodeus is just over here. Let's just pop on over. I don't think we're gonna be allowed in this house, but like... Actually, no, I think... I think well, his is one of the only houses that you can, like, actually get into. Right? Let me in, I need to meet ya. One day, I'm gonna mind ya. Da 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 Hello. Alright, eight people left. Should have swung by Willie's sooner, though. Well, actually, Willie's isn't open until a second day, is it? Or fifth, or something like that? Yeah. So it's, it's impossible to get in the first day. But technically, he is there. So, Gunther, I don't think, counts for the quest. Clint is closed. But I think he stops by the saloon every night. So we can get him there. And... Who else? Who else? Who else? You. 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 We're gonna need to swim by the mountains tomorrow. Ultimate efficiency, am I right? Got 20 of them in a day. Ah, Maru. Yes, yes. Now I must uh, find whoever was in here. Emily. Hello. Who else? I think we can meet Linus at any hour, technically. Demetrius and Clint. George. Uh, can we get to George's house right now? Wait, Alex. Yeah. There we go. Hi. And now we'll just pop on up to Linus. Actually, I wonder if we can get into Demetrius's house right now. Like, what time do the houses close? Oh, I just realized we have a minecart up there. I'm gonna run all the way down. Demetrius! Hi! Hi, 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 wait! And shit, Sebastian is actually over here. Wow, he leaves the house. Hello. How oh, cool, he just moved in, right? Of all the places you could live, you chose Pelican Town? I think Pelican Town. We're in Stardew Valley. Oh. <laughs> oh, I just realized. Right, and now, Linus, you are up by your tent still. Are they inside? Alright. I won't mind you then. 26 out of 28 people greeted. I can't get Resmodius, and I cannot get... Oh, I need Clint and Willy, probably. I don't think Resmodius is part of the quest.
Wait, can I steal the campfire? Nah. You can turn it out, though. Hi, Linus. I'll see you tomorrow. That was mean. Don't do mean things, kids. Or adults. No, they never do mean things. Unless it's in a funny haha -ha YouTube video that's in a game and the people aren't real. But don't be mean to real people. Put the thingy on. Yeah, yeah. It's not a very useful thing. Oh, but I just noticed there's a map on the wall. Hello, map. No, I can't. To be honest, I never check the weather report or the fortune teller. <laughs> Hi. Hi there. Good morning. I noticed that you've been breaking some rocks open and finding ore. That's good. If you want to get the most out of the ores you find, you'll need a furnace. Just so happens, I had an extra set of blueprints lying around. Here, I want you to have them. Learned how to craft a furnace. The furnace allows you to smelt metal bars. The bars can be used for crafting and construction and tool upgrades. Quick, look, no one's looking. When you've smelted a few copper bars, instead of having me upgrade one of your tools, it can make your work a lot easier. Oh wait, that says consider. Well, okay, I'm heading home. Take it easy. What a creep. Oh, sounds like a robot. Hello there. Just got back from, fi from a fishing trip. You should come down to the beach sometime. I've got something for ya. Really? That's not happening today. No, because we are going to be. Oh wait, we do we have Clint? Yeah, we have Clint now. Now we just need Willy. Offwards. Grab a flower first. A deek. We're gonna give the pretty flower to a pretty somebody. Probably the first one we've come across, actually. Yes, yeah, so the first single we come across, we're given that to. Hello. Oh, hi there, miss. Oh, there was a newcomer in town. Good to finally meet you. Ah, I'm still trying to unwind from a month out on the salty seas. Now, why are you still on the ocean? Just go and land and, like, I don't know, touch some grass. It was a big haul. I sold a lot of good fish. Finally saved enough to buy me a new rod. So here's my old crappy one. Yeah, I want you to have my old fishing rod. It's important to me that the other fishing stays alive. And hey, maybe you'll buy something from the shop every once in a while. Yeah, I love fish tanks, so expect me to buy a lot of them. You received the bamboo pole. 
There's good water here in the valley. All kinds of fish. Oh yeah, my shop's back open now, so come by if you need supplies. Or also buy anything you catch. If it smells, it sells. <laughs> That's what my old babby used to say anyway. They don't mind me, I'm just gonna take a good smoke here. Alright, let's go. Actually, I might as well try to catch a fish first. Get that fishing stat up. Also, why do we have mining skills? We haven't done any mining. Oh, breaking rocks in the farm, probably. Oh, wait. Oh, I will give someone a gift. First single I come across is getting that flower. That's silver quality, too. Wait, why'd I catch a sunfish out of the ocean? <laughs> this will be a herring. I just know it already. Sardine. You know, I should actually cast a lot closer to the dock, because fish love to hide in the shade it provides. see a pretty person. I'm not gonna look at the map, because that's cheating. Oh, there's one. Not my first pick, but eh. Thanks! Beach is a cool place to hang out and soak up some rays. You gotta spend some time in the sun or else, or else you get pale, dude. Hey, you wanna hang out with me at the beach sometime? Do you have a bikini? Creep. I do not have a bikini. Thanks for making me feel self-conscious. Yet? That sounds exhausting. Oh, trust me, it is. Oh, and I should... Wait, I... Oh, it's locked. No one ever said I was intelligent. Not even I would say I'm intelligent. Welcome to P.A.S. Oh, hello. I work part-time at Gus Saloon. It pays the bills. Oh, no. Na the southern twang's spreading. Let's see, do we want patats, beans, cauliflower? I think we want patats. A row of five patats, that sounds good.
farm is planted. Now what? Do I... Yeah, may as well chop down some trees, clear up this northern pathway. Yeah, I don't have my magnet ring. Hello, shrine. I'll make a sacrifice to you. Have a fiber. So you probably want a path to the farm down here. I should get my sights for this. Also, for now, without a weapon, we should probably- I might just use the sight. I had to use the sight as a weapon before, and it's the most infuriating thing, because it's so poor at doing its job. Have that southern path now. And uh, we have a random seed. Let's see what it grows into. To me, it looks like a parsnip. Mind the sounds my computer is making, it just, you know, is having a heart attack. As they do. And now, now what? Hmm. Yeah, let's just like step into the mart, see who's there at the time, and Maybe we can find another flower for them, no. Hello. Nice makeup. Oh wait, are you even... Aw. Uh -huh. She thinks it looks nice. And no, I'm not wearing makeup, so thanks for the confidence boots, girl. 
at all. No, I don't think so. Once I get a seed maker, I will never step in your CD establishment again, except for the backpack. And also for tree saplings, so we can't make those myself. Also, maybe occasionally for fertilizer and the furniture catalog and, and the, the, everything that's not a seed. I don't know what they're talking about. <laughs> like... Why are they just standing there? In the house part of the house. Why aren't they meeting, like, right here in the store? Whatever. You know what's weird about the culture of this game? You can just walk into anybody's house and they're like, Ah, oh, yeah, people do that sometimes. But then if I were to do that in real life, he'd be like, Hey, what are you doing in my house? And I'd probably be like, I don't know. And then if someone walked into my house, it would be like, the same situation, but in, you know, reverse. Oh, hi, it's good to see you again. Take it easy. Yeah, don't, don't worry, I, I totally am. I might as well get the museum cutscene. Oh, but it's closed. Might as well get a daffodil. Give it to the first pretty person we see. Probably gonna be Sam since we're going in the same direction. Sudden cut off in the music as soon as I walked across that bridge. Yep. Alright, Shane or Emily? Shane or Emily? You know me and your money, Mel, because you're talking about it. So if you always let it go, out goes why I owe you. Here's a flower. Yep, positive energy. Oh, you know, we could play that Prairie King game. We're getting pretty good at it. You know, something I've always wondered is why green aliens? Like, isn't this supposed to be the Wild West? But then again, why ghosts being eaten by Pac-Man? Oh. Darn it, I always get too close to those. Lives here. And I missed out on collecting one because I got swarmed. Oh, come on, why am I so much better in my other save file? Like, I was getting to the second stage every time. Sometimes without even losing a life.
Wait. Wait, but I was Hulk mode. Did it run out last second? Strategy doesn't work as well on that level. Ew, it's the creepy robot. Alright, so what did we accomplish today? We, um... We gave flowers to two pretty people. And one of them was kinda creepy and, you know... Yeah, it's whatever. We also learned that this map is, uh... I don't know what. I don't know where we are. If I had to guess... That island, one of those islands down by the south, is probably, um, actually, we know that country has a southern coast, so it limits it to these three, maybe that one, and then these two. Or possibly that island, but I doubt, and we're also gonna have something in maybe the northern hemisphere, because we get seasons. So, there's a good chance, actually, that one's got a southern bit, and it's got an island. Well, actually, it's a tropical island. We have a tropical island distance, but we can also snow in the winter and get, like, cycads and stuff in the summer. If I had to guess, we are this country. This little light green one. Alright, well, let's get to bed. Goodbye, everybody. This is the Red-Eyed Alien, and I leave in peace as soon as we get the money for today. 204, I'll take it. Alright, I leave in... Peace.